Shalom, brothers and sisters. I want to give all the praise and all the glory to the almighty, powerful strength of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Son of the Most High. I want to go into a few precepts here, some motivating precepts for the people that I come from and for all people seeking the truth. Uh, I want to go a little bit outside of the Dan tribe understanding because I don't want people to think that that's, that's the only thing that I speak on. I definitely share more information of, of the Bible than just that. I want to go into some other areas as well. But this, these few precepts I feel are very important as we go forward, as I go forward in sharing some other precepts and definitely informational for our people. I want to start here in Isaiah 63 and 7. It says, I will mention the loving kindness of the Most High and the praises of the Most High according to all that the Most High hath bestowed on us and the great goodness towards the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their Savior in all their affliction. He was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. So the important part of this I really want to pull out is not just the love and kindness, kindness and the mercy towards the house of Israel and his great goodness towards the house of Israel, but he says, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. Very important. When this book is about you, for you, and to you, and has the path within it that leads to the salvation of our nation. There's no reason to be lying. There's no reason to lie. You're gonna go. We're gonna go precept upon precept so that we don't lie. So I want to go here also in Zephaniah three and thirteen. It says, "The remnant of Israel shall do, shall not do iniquity nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid." Once again, the remnant of Israel, a portion of our people, shall not do iniquity, meaning shall not sin. We're going to keep those law, statutes, and commandments on the perfect level, enough to uh, righteous enough for our redemption, nor speak lies. So lies is not def is definitely not part of not doing iniquity. As I said, as I said before, this 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 passage here is really. Um, well, these precepts that I'm pulling are, are really just motivation for our people to really start studying that book, man. It, 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 it's, it's a necessity. We must get into this Bible as a nation of people and pull out these, the real truth. Because we have all been taught a lot of lies from, from the time we've been brought into this world until the time that you've been awakened to the knowledge that you're an Israelite, Hebrew, Israelite from the 12 tribes. We must fully go into this book and pull out the real truth. And only a remnant of our people shall not do iniquity nor speak lies. Leviticus 19.11, ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. So, once again, as, I, as, I, as you see the, the pattern here, right here in Ecclesiasticus 7, Ben Sirach, the book of Sirach, uh, chapter 7, verse number 12, I'll start with, it says, Devise not a lie against thy brother, neither, neither do the like to thy friend. Use not... Use not to make any manner of lie, for the custom thereof is not good. So lies definitely aren't good among our people. There's no reason to lie when, you've, when you're when you doing the truth and and teaching the truth and sharing information and knowledge with the people. There's, there's no reason to be lying. We're trying to do this for our people, our, our family of people, our, <clears throat> our nation, to preserve our nation, as well as ourselves. Now, you don't, you don't want to lie because it's not a good thing, as I just said here in, in Sirach. Here in Psalms 101 and 7, it says, He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. Meaning, they shall not be established in his sight. So telling lies is a very big, important thing not to do. It's very important. Many precepts uh, tell, tell us and instruct us not to do these things, not to lie. And many of us have been brought up as liars. You know, just... Immediately off jump, you've been. Some of us have been trained to just give a lie. In the, whatever lifestyle you come out, I came out of a street lifestyle. My tongue definitely was a lying type of tongue. So I had de it's something definitely that when you come into this truth, you don't even want to tell even the slightest of lie because you're you're ordering yourself properly in your in the manner in which you live in, and in this book, you're establishing a strong knowledge in this book to where you're not lying. So I definitely want to push that to our people strongly in this video. 
here, uh, Proverbs 12, 19, the lip of, a, of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. A deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. Okay, right here is verse number 22, lying lips are abomination to the Most High, but they that deal truly are his delight. Proverbs 19 and 5, a false witness, a false witness shall, be, shall not be unpunished, but he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Same here is in verse number 9, a false witness shall not be unpunished, but he that speaketh lies shall perish. Ephesians 4, start here in verse number 23, and, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. That means with your brother. You speak truth to your brother. It's even a law. For we are members one of another. We're just one big part of the body. There's no need for one part of the body to be lying to the other parts of the body. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. So that's why I, I'm really pushing these precepts for our people. Cause not because I hate our people, but because I love our people. I love my people to where I want to tell you and inform you and instruct you that we must not be telling lies. Lies do not make it. It's a very harsh thing for our people to tell lies. We must establish truth and must study in order to get to that, to that kingdom that we're all trying to make it to. Revelation 21 and 26, this is speaking about the kingdom. Uh, and they shall bring the glory and honor to, of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Um, I kind of pulled these scriptures out in, in, in the previous video, which has kind of motivated me to do this next one, to do this video, is, is, is lies don't make it to the kingdom. Which is why I'm trying to really push our people to get into the scriptures. Here in uh, Revelation 22 and 14, it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates, uh, enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So none of these things make it to the kingdom, but the part that I really want to stress is the loveth and maketh a lie. Many of our people love lies and, and, and make them up. Or... They have been taught lies from whatever religion you've come, our people have come out of. Camp systems are, are telling lies. All, there's people around us who are very subtly teaching our people lies while teaching them that they're the Israelites. So that's why I always want to encourage our people to go into the scriptures. Every time I, I finish a video of late, I've been pushing our people to increase their knowledge and understanding of the word. Go precept upon precept to get that understanding. Uh, shod yourself with that preparation. You want to be, be clothed with preparation and understanding the book so that you can be bold as a lion in righteousness and you can stand up against any doctrine that's coming at you with lies. You're so unbelievably strong in the scriptures that you will be able to, to just tear down any lies coming out of the book. Go straight to the scripture where these people are telling you lies. So I want to go here into <clears throat> Second Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that is need a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word. There's very many people right wrongfully dividing the word. They're wrongfully dividing the word, setting our people up for lies. But you want to study to show thyself approved a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of when you're doing this right, when you're doing it correctly. When you're rightfully dividing the word of truth, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Bold as a line, you'll stand up against any religion, any doctrine, any falsehood with the proper precepts in hand, in knowledge, to be able to, to tear down all lies. That time is at hand for our people, the time promised to our people in which you, you definitely want to take every single one of these things seriously. All scriptures, you, this scripture, this entire walk, you want to take with the utmost intense severity. You want to really be, you want to understand that this thing is very strong. This thing is so unbelievably, um, I'm looking for a certain word here, serious. <laughs> 
this is a very serious thing. Lying is a very serious thing, a serious offense, an offense that doesn't make it to the kingdom of the Most High. So that's why I want to um, push these precepts to our people, not because I've, I've uh, had any kind of hatred for our people, but I absolutely love our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, as well as I have no hatred for no people. Um, a stranger definitely can sojourn in the truth, but there, it has nothing to do with lying. You must always tell the truth. The truth is the only way that a person can make it out of this, out of these uh, plagues that are soon to come. And if you're watching the news, if you're watching and, and, and looking for these prophets and these prophecies that are being fulfilled, you're seeing that the time is at hand. Which is why I encourage our people to put these things on too. You don't want to just know them to understand them so that you're telling the truth, but you want to put these on and prepare yourself so that you ain't caught up in them two-thirds of our people that don't make it. And part of those two-thirds that don't make it are people who have been lying about the book. He says, in that day, many are going to say unto him, whatever name that you call on, Yahusha, Yeshua, Yeshaya, whatever it is that you call him, Jesus, the man known to the world is Jesus, whatever name you call him by, if you're not working this righteousness properly, you don't want to hear those depart from me, you worker of iniquity words. So with that, brothers and sisters, I want to just continue to encourage our people to study the book. This book should be your everything for real. It is the path. The, the book has the path in which it's going to pre preserve our nation. It's going to preserve your seed. It's going to preserve your name and give you a name above any remembrance of anybody in this world that you can remember. The name of the 144,000 people are going to be cherished and going to be exalted on a whole nother level. So I want to continue to push our people to understand the Bible, to go straight into the book for themselves, see and understand that the things that I have been telling you about these, this Dan tribe lying to our people is for certainly true. So with that, brothers and sisters, I want to say shalom and continue in the faith and continue the learning. All praise is due to the Most High.